guys, this is Martin, aka Martin the Vlogger. That of course is the beast, probably the most recognizable BRP Canem Spider F3S in the world. And in today's episode, we will talk about, or basically I will answer your questions that are related to this series. Write it like you stole it. The series, where I write like I stole it, you know. And this t-shirt is coming very shortly to my online shop. And your questions have been related to the rear tire, or basically, how it is that I'm burning the rear tire. If it is possible to burn the rear tire on all BRP Canem Spider models, uh, if you need to have a manual gearbox or this semi-electric, it's enough. And or if you need to have a sport button that was introduced on the F3S, I believe after 2018 year. All of this plus one more thing. I will tell you why I was so quiet for the last three weeks. No videos on my YouTube channel, a little bit of the post on my social media. So I'll explain you this. And now, enough of this, let's get started. Now very quickly, why I was quiet for the last three weeks. First, because project that you can call do it at home was delivered. And I have become father of twins, of two super tiny little boys. Uh, probably the future Spider Riders or, or Riker 600 with limited power, probably. So that was the main reason. But of course, on the other side, I was working hard. And this year, guys, this year I have introduced a new web page, martindevlogger.com, new online shop, so MTV online shop, MTV Manufacturing, which is a company that produces badges like this and brake eyes and, and a fixed push button and many other things, you know. And t-shirt like this, it's going to be a brand new t-shirt, as I said, very soon on the website. And have a look there. This is what we are working on. Super short, ultra light, full LED front fenders for all BRP Canem models. Uh, it's super cool project, very exhausting, time consuming, but we will make it. Plus for November, I'm preparing big, big announcement. There's gonna be a new MTV membership zone so exclusive content for members you will be able to ask me questions because you guys are contacting me via whatsapp and i cannot cope up with it anymore you will have discounts not only to my products but also to uh, related websites and partners for those that i'm doing honest reviews and the reviews that will be good for those products you will get special prices and many 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 more other things so that's a big thing uh, stay tuned november time and yeah, guys, three of you will be able to test that thing in the spring 2021. Now, enough of this, let's burn the rear tire. So a few things you should know before we'll burn the rear tire. Uh, is it possible to burn the rear tire on all spider models? Yes, it's possible. Uh, there is no difference. Uh, do you need to have manual gearbox or semi-electric? Uh, it's enough. I have semi-electric and I'm still able to burn the rear tire, so it's enough. Do you need to have a sport mode? Uh, yes or no? Uh, this is 2015, there was no sport mode, even on the F3S model. They have introduced it, I believe, in uh, 2018 or late 2017. So no, I don't have sport mode, I'm still able to burn it, even though it's easier with the sport mode, because many is a little bit calmed down, you know, so it allows you to drift and, and burn the rear tail a little bit easier. Now, very quickly about the, the tire itself. I have a video about front tires on 16 inch wheels and 15 inch wheels and what are the options there. And I was talking in that video about this Kumho Extra. I was so excited about the rear tire and I'm so disappointed. Uh, I will be replacing it with one of these uh, <laughs> Kenda Canyon uh, Car 20 uh, brand new tires from Kenda. Uh, I'm really looking for that tire. Why Kumho Extra is bad? I mean, in terms of um, life, it's very good. This is how it looks after 12,000 kilometers. There is still like one, two, three, four thousand kilometers left. For those that don't know, there is a tiny bridge where you can check if the tire is still okay. Uh, for legal purposes, this is okay for Europe. I don't know, different countries, different states can have different options or different rules. This is still okay for, for Europe. Uh, what is bad about the Kumho Extra, it's, uh, the performance on the wet road uh, it's absolutely terrible i was riding sideways for two times and it was just absolutely crazy
what do you think? Not bad. And it was easy to continue, but I still need a little bit of tire left because next week or next weekend I'm leaving to record last traveling around Slovakia for this season. Uh, so a few tips and how to do it. Uh, first of all, try to avoid concrete like this. Uh, if you are doing it for the first time, I recommend to really go on a on a concrete that is uh, like almost like a mirror, like really smooth. First of all, this it's easy like 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 what like 3,000 kilometers off from the tire, like easy. And second, uh, the tire will not spin so easy as when you are on a on that smooth and, and soft concrete. Another thing is, if you are set up like this. Uh, be careful uh, i have a video about and it's called uh, fixed uh, push button uh, how to trick the nanny basically the nanny thinks when you have set up like this that somebody is sitting there there is a push button that indicates to the nanny that somebody is there reduce the power and always when you are riding like this uh, you will never have a full power with your bike and of course mtv manufacturing has a solution for that yeah it's on my mtv online shop now how to really do it sometimes Making it, it's easier than to explain it. It's no rocket science. All you need to do is try it once or twice and you're there. Uh, basically, it's all about the brake and the right, you know, uh, power. Rest, the bike will do for ya. So definitely you need to start the bike. You need to be in a first gear and turn off the handbrake. And then basically what you need to do, uh, hit, the, hit the brake to the maximum and start slowly accelerating till you feel that the bike starts to move when you feel it uh, accelerate it a little bit more and try to you know release the brake very slowly not to the hundred percent you you always you need to be on the brake that's that's how it is done front brakes are much more powerful than the rear one so that's the reason why the bike allows you to do the to do the um, burning of the rear tire first kind of thing that you know what you, if you are doing something good is that uh, you have the power, you have the brake, and the bike will be accelerating and deaccelerating, but you are already burning the tire. Stand still. If you like to get going, you need to release the brake a little bit more and hit the power, but not too much, you know? You don't have to go like full, 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 full throttle, okay? Of course, I'm having pedal commander, but the pedal commander was off in this video, so it's not the point. So uh, this is how you need to do. Uh, basically, 90% of the job it's done with the brake. So you need to understand the bike, and you need to understand when the bike it starts to roll and when you know when you need to use the brake a little bit more hopefully i was able to explain you this guys this is pretty much it in case you like my videos in case you would like to find a little bit more have a look around the channel subscribe to my channel hit the like or hit the dislike if you like it's up to you stay tuned and have the notifications on because mtv membership is coming in november hey yeah by the way i have forgot to tell you new studio is coming how cool is that have a look on the studio this is how it looks now it needs a little bit of cleaning but it's gonna be super awesome my first studio ever so yeah we are moving ahead guys as i said thank you for watching and remember learn how to burn your rear tire and always have fun